Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return at home. When I record these audio casts, I'm literally sitting on the side of a road dealing with all the ambient noise of the people and the cars and the trucks and the hazards by. It doesn't mean that I don't have a vision or a mission for my life, and it doesn't mean that I don't have values and ethics that keep me alive. But what it means is that I'm in struggle because someone keeps hacking my computer, attacking my cameras, ruining my cell phones in a personal vendetta of some kind. It's a vanity in that person's mind thinking they're going to win something over on me. It's a vice in them because they're addicted to doing it. And it's a violence in them of vandalism because the violence is coming through in the vandalism of a piece of tool. Now what I can say to you about these people is that they're not well in their minds. What I can say to you about these people is that they're wasting a lot of time. What I can say to you about these folks who are doing this is that they're just not sharp as they should be. Because the truth is, America itself is about life and liberty. In America, we have rights, and those rights belong to the individual. They don't belong to you and your group who thinks they're mighty. Because the truth is, nobody thinks anything like that. They think you're flighty. The reality is that your foolishness is going to be caught in a snare, and openly, we don't care. Because in America, we care about people who care about other people's rights. And so far, all you keep proving to yourself and to others is that you don't care. You don't care about who you hurt. You don't care about what you do. You don't care about those things at all. But what you feel is that you have the right to harm people. And that is a thinking person who is small. In this world, we have rights. And those rights mean I have rights to my life. You have rights to your life. And sadly, you decided to abuse that relationship of opportunity. You decided to use that relationship opportunity, and you decided to walk away from the opportunities God played for us in every way. The sad thing about people who don't understand God as well as perhaps I can, based on the experiences I've had to date and at hand, is that most people don't get that God will take away blessings when you harm someone. He will not give you the blessings He's planned for you, and openly... I feel a sadness for you because you missed out on so much already. And how do you move forward if you're so busy moving backwards? How do you gain ahead if you're not thinking about how other people have bled for your rights in America?